Hey guys, welcome to Protein Treats. Today we are making Christmas bark. Now I love Christmas, but the one thing I don't love about it is all of the sugar, all of the extra fat, and all of the things that make us gain weight over the holidays. So I'm gonna show you how to make an absolutely delicious, high protein, sugar-free Christmas bark that you are gonna love and you're not gonna believe how easy it is. So stick around. All right, for this super easy recipe, all you're gonna need are two scoops of chocolate neutraline. You're gonna need half a cup of melted coconut oil. You're gonna need two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Make sure it's an unsweetened cocoa powder. And you're gonna need some sugar-free uh, peppermint that you've chopped up ahead of time. So I've taken some sugar-free mints here and I put them in a little Ziploc bag and I took a hammer and I just chopped them up so that as you can see here, they're just fine little chunks. And I've got a little bit of peppermint extract. I'm just gonna put a couple drops in and of course some liquid stevia that I'm going to put in. This is such an easy recipe, you're not gonna believe how much fun this is to put together. So I'm gonna start with my dry ingredients and I'm gonna go ahead and add my two scoops of chocolate neutraline. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add in my extra cocoa to make it extra chocolatey. So now that I've got that in, I'm gonna make sure I mix it really good so it's mixed perfectly all the way through. And then I'm going to make this a little bit easier on myself. So I'm gonna take my liquid stevia and I'm just gonna put a few drops to taste right into my coconut oil. And then I'm gonna add my couple of drops of peppermint extract. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour a little bit in there like that. Now, really important when you're making this at home, you can do a peppermint one like I'm doing here for you guys, but you can also use nuts, you can use almonds and walnuts and cashews, anything that you want. You can use seeds if you're a nut-free home like ours is. So you can use chopped up pumpkin seeds. You can put in, um, unsweetened dried coconut in there and all of that will make amazing bark recipes. Just do exactly this same recipe but of course leave out the mint extract and you're good to go. So now that I've got everything mixed in here into my um, coconut oil, I'm just going to give it a little swish here and then I'm going to go ahead and pour this right into my dry ingredients. So here we go and make sure I get all of it out. And what's so great about using your coconut oil is that once you put this in the freezer for a few minutes, it's really gonna harden and that's how you get your bark. And there, our mixture is ready to go. Now what I'm gonna do is just on um, a cookie sheet, I've got some parchment paper here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pour this onto my parchment paper, our mixture. Just go right ahead. And dump it right into the middle and then you're just going to spread it out a little bit with your spatula. So you want to spread it out so it's fairly thin but you don't have to be perfect. It just has to be fairly even all the way around because it is a bark. You're going to break it up afterwards. Now that we have it already on our pan, now I'm going to take all of my sugar-free um, mints that I've chopped up and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to pour it, sprinkle it all over the top of my chocolate mixture. Just like this. And the great thing about Christmas bark is because you're going to go ahead and cut it into little, break it off into little chunks and little pieces, you don't have to worry about sprinkling it perfectly even. And as it hardens in your freezer, you're going to have perfect Christmas bark. So I'm gonna show you how great this looks. So yummy, and now I'm gonna go and put this in the freezer for 10 to 30 minutes and it'll be ready to go. All right guys, look at this right out of the freezer. Our Christmas bark looks amazing. And you guys are gonna love this. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. All you do is break it into little pieces. You don't need it to be the same. Some pieces can be really big, some pieces can be really small. They make for perfect gifts. Now, one thing you wanna keep in mind is you do wanna keep it in the freezer because it's made out of coconut oil. 
even though it will stay set at room temperature, it will become really, really soft. So it will last for about three to four weeks in your freezer as long as you have it sealed really great in either a Tupperware container or in a, in a freezer Ziploc bag. So these are great for giving as gifts for people when they come over and for serving your holiday guests. Look at this. No one in their right minds would believe that this is healthy for you. And I think before we end the show today, I should take a little taste test and make sure that it tastes as delicious as it looks. This is so good, you guys. You are gonna love it. Make sure you subscribe so you get them every week in your inbox. Make sure you like this episode if you liked it. And of course, comment below. I'd love to hear your feedback, what worked for you, what your recipes turned out like, and always send me a message or comment. And I hope you guys have a great day and happy holidays. Thanks guys.